Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. So we're working on uh, Clover's Lucy walking today. Um, I've had some really good results using just boiled chicken with her. Um, good girl, no diarrhea. Um, so, so that's great. So I think that's a kind of your go-to reward for her at this point. Yes, good girl. Um, for the naughty behavior at home, like the jumpy nippy stuff, I noticed. So I'm usually really patient with the dogs and, um, and I don't raise my voice often, but we had a couple of puppies over that were, um, just visiting like they're, I wasn't training them. It was just, my friend had a litter of puppies and she dropped them off just to socialize a little bit. Um, so I yelled at them. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> Cause they're jumping all over the place and just being crazy. They're just little baby things. And, and Clover started getting all kind of jumpy and crazy and like barking at me and jumping around, which she hasn't done. So, um, I think for her, a really important part of your management at home is really managing how people are behaving around her because, um, she's quite reactive or she's reacting poorly to, um, She's reacting poorly to um, being yelled at. And I think that may just be from um, you trying to cope with her as a puppy, right? And so you just kind of get in the habit of, um, get in the habit of like scolding her, which doesn't mesh with her personality because she doesn't really, she's not super sensitive to that. She's kind of like, oh, who cares? <laughs> I'm just going to bug you then. You know, she's not like a super passive dog. So, um, so I think, you know, had that worked before in the past with other dogs, it may have. Um, but, but for her personality, it's not a good fit. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't be trying to yell at her to get her to comply. Um, I've been working on her responding willingly to going in her crate and jumping into the car and going in and out of rooms and stuff like that because she hesitates with everything. She, um has picked up the habit of like purposely waiting. I don't know if she's looking for a certain kind of response or if she's just resisted, resistant to doing it now because of some past experiences or whatever. Um, so I'm trying to teach her just systematically through um, slowly using the treats initially to get her in there. Um, so with the crate, I can take a video, but we started out just throwing treats in and now she's going in when I ask and then getting a treat after. And that's an important step that I like to do before the dog goes home because otherwise you're kind of stuck in a bribing loop because you don't know how to progress from there. So, so we've moved on past that point. Um, she, she's going in when I ask and I'm going to get it really solid for you. So she'll go through, I'm going to use it. The same thing in doors of the house, like she does it at my front door, she stands there and hesitates. So I've been doing the same thing at the front door, just chunking out that piece of behavior and helping her go through. Now, that being said, some dogs do something location specific because they've been doing it. So if there's a situation like that at home, let me know because um, I can take more detailed videos. It's just something that I've noticed and is frustrating for me around the house. Like every time we come in the front door, she stands there and waits and refuses to come in. And I have to go out and I have to call her to me and leash her and walk her back in the house if she's not wearing a long line outside. And some, some dogs, like if I put the long line on them and they come in a few times because I've grabbed the leash, they'll just be like, oh, okay, it's fine. We'll go inside after. Cause I give them a treat when they come in but she's not like that. So, so I'm chunking it out and teaching her to come through the door willingly um, and really and really making that like a, a specific trained behavior, go through the door. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, going through doors is important. <laughs> I'm just wondering if she's doing that at home, like that hesitating and, um, and refusing to like enter or exit. Um, a location. So 
Um, so let me know and I'll make more detailed videos about it so that if you get home and you find that she gets stuck in a pattern, an old pattern, then you'll have kind of detailed instructions on how to, how to work on it. Um, her leash walking is going quite well. So no concerns there. She's, um, I am holding treats here, so um, switching sides on me a little bit, but staying in heel. So I'm only feeding her on the left. I like them to walk on the left. I imagine you've been walking her on the right, and that's why she feels comfortable there. So, um, but as she's staying in heel, I'm not super concerned about it. There's, you can see she's walking kind of behind me. The leash is loose. I'm just going to encourage her back over to the other side. Retreat. Once she notices that she's on the wrong side, I'm going to stop. She's like, hey, I'm over here. Okay, good girl. Good dog. Good. Uh, really nice dog, though. No behavior issues that I'm concerned about. I think the handling just needs a quick shift at home. Um, some of the things that I've taught her should help and she's gotten out of the habit of doing that stuff and uh, and then we can talk about managing her if she starts to get really awful with you because um, she hasn't really displayed a ton of what you have um, mentioned the nipping and the jumping she, she, she nipped me once outside when she was playing with the other dogs and she was excited and she kind of got jumpy and annoying twice so once was when she was a little overtired it was kind of late and we were all getting ready for bed and she started to get a little crazy. That's normal puppy stuff. I just, I just put her in her crate. Um, and then the other time, oh, everybody was running around, kind of getting nuts in the house. It was high energy. Um, and then, and then this last time was when I told the other dogs no in my serious voice and she got all kind of crazy. So I might purposely start desensitizing that um, just start telling her no in my serious voice all the time and then giving her treats just to change the way that she feels about that tone of voice because she knows she knows that whatever something's going on there wrong side there you go good girl let's go what is that what was it ew don't eat it I don't know what it is Good girl. Oops, slow down. Yes, good girl. So if she ever pulls, I'll turn around and walk the other way. She doesn't pull a ton, but I'll turn and walk this way. What do you see? Something good? She gets really excited in really public areas with lots of people and dogs so we're slowly working up to that she can't do a, a really solid walk when it's really busy out um, she needs just to work on focusing so uh, we're working up to that as well good girl gets really excited it's easy to get excited 